the making of Aboriginal art to Aboriginal artists is so profound because it's more than art making. It's just a total exercise in connecting people to place, country, spirit, ancestors, and it gives them their power and their identity. It's also about ecology, it's our science, medicine, healing plants, engineering, geology, almost all of the disciplines that you will have in the Western world are practised through art. And there are elders who will tell us, country can't speak for itself. We, the artists, must speak for country. Art is the tongue for country. You know, what's really interesting is this ancient art that has been around in one form or another for 60 to 65,000 years has actually hit the nerve of the world, the world's major artery since the mid-1980s. So in fact, its efflorescence is only 30, 40 or 50 years old and it has gone with a bang. It's around the entire world, there's a huge hunger for it. People buy Aboriginal art in increasing numbers around the world. It is truly unique. It's, it's bold, it's beautiful, it's confident. For some, it's even a decor accent, you know, it matches their house. But for all, and then, then that is a sort of a, a doorway into them learning that actually it is more than that. Once they acquire it, they look behind the veneer, behind the surface and learn that in fact, what they're bringing into their homes is this amazing indigenous, traditional indigenous knowledge that connect back through deep time into the depths and hearts of country. It is like ceremony on canvas. In an accelerated world, there's a hunger or a need for something enduring, something that has some solidity, some substance, is grounded and links back over time. And people sense it, they sense it, and they want a piece of it. And this is how, why people buy Aboriginal art, but they're actually buying much more than art.